Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. How do I do that? Okay. Bloop. <laughs> then press the switch. There you go, we're done. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just couldn't eat it because it was frozen in place, but... I'm glad you feel that way, Papyrus. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what the world do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> I like how he's very full of himself. Okay. You got your brother sticking out for you, man. Don't worry. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow is... Uh, oh, shoot. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all of the X's into O's. You should try that. Ask him for more great hints. Okay. So, hold up. Let me look back at the picture I just grabbed. Because it kind of looks very similar. Okay, it's not similar enough. So instead, we will just figure this out all on our own. So if I start from here, I can go this way. Nope, that messes up. If I start here... Nope, that messes it up. If I go here... And then, like this... Then I can't go back to the switch because I'd have to cross over one of the X's. Right? Hold up, okay. Start here, go through the- nope. I'm trying to figure this out before I fuck up anything. So... here... no... here... no... Damn it! We'll just have to try! <laughs> I'm sure someone's like, well, God, this one's super easy, but... Yo! <gasps> Whoa, no! They can become triangles if I step on them again? That's not good. Well, I'm gonna turn all of them into triangles and see what happens. <laughs> okay, it gets reset. Gotcha. So... Alright. I wanna do this in one shot, without accidentally stepping and everything. So let me just keep on trying to figure this out in my mind. We're gonna do this live, even though whenever I do puzzles live, people are like, Oh my god, I'm so slow in doing this puzzle. I figured it out within the first millisecond that I did it, because, you know, even as a five-year-old, I'm just a fucking genius. And I'm like, great, all right, well, you know, I'm a poor innocent child, so give me a fucking second here, okay? Uh, all right, so if I go this way, and then back down, then I can do... Hmm. Shoot. No? <laughs> Puzzles. Uh, everything crosses over. There's one perfect way, but like five different ways I can go at this. <gasps> if I come in from here, I understand. Okay. All right. So if I go from here, enter from this side, I come through here, and then exit over to this side. Shit. <laughs> I thought I was so close. I thought I was so close. So what if I go here... Cross over through... Nope. Shoot. What if I start here? Go around this way... No, because then I get stuck on the X. Do I... Can I go off of an X and then... Hold up. Alright. Let's try this. Uh... Aha! I don't know if that was the correct way, but fuck it, whatever. I solved it. Wow, you solved it! My advice helped! Er, 
My advice helped! Oh god, I don't even remember what voice I gave to Virus. I was so stuck up on that really super simple puzzle. My advice helped! It really helped you! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! <laughs> Alright, bye bye, Papyrus! Wait, did he just walk by it? Alright, the spikes. They aren't there now. Good job on solving it so quickly! You didn't even need my help! Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing! <laughs> okay. I wonder if you actually will legitimately come around to help. Oh god, you're so fast! Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see, these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable! You cannot walk on them! Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles! If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange scented! They will make you smell delicious! Blue tiles are water tiles! Swim through it if you like, but... If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Oh. Also, if you also if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on all of them all you like. How was that, understand? That was a lot of instructions. Understand the explanation? No. Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Red tiles are passable. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Why don't the yellow ones smell lemony? Hmm, um, wait, did I mix up green and blue? The blue ones are water ones. Pink tiles. I don't... I remember? Wait, those ones don't do anything. Okay, do you understand better now? I don't know, can you give me one more explanation? This time I'll even... I'll even not skip it. Okay, you know what? How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions, just read them. Then when you understand it, you can throw the switch and do it at your own pace. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, did it, does that mean he didn't activate it? <laughs> I don't have to worry about it at all. Actually, that's what I got from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> it's illegible chicken scratch. So can I actually turn it on? The machine isn't working. Eh, it never worked anyways. <laughs> Uh-oh. What happened here? It's the broken head of a snow dog. Why'd the snow dogs get attacked? They need to be pet. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pomeranians. Pome pomeranians? Raisins? Why are there pomeranians? That is weird. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Are these made by you? A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow. Until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dog's a good sculptor, though. Good job. <sighs> What's down here? Oh, great. It's a snow papyrus, and then sands. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. So papyrus is legitimately <laughs> making his own things. And so I was just like, yeah, whatever. Oh god, I gotta slide across here at the perfect rate, which means I have to enter at the perfect area. Now that doesn't sound too bad. That means I just have to... get my... thing right. So if I start from here, 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 here... Shoot, that doesn't work. Doot, 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 and then I just slide... around. Okay, that works. No, it doesn't. I had to press the switch. Ah, it doesn't matter. Oh no, I did it wrong! Oh god, I'm falling into the abyss! Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I thought wrong. Oh, I thought I was just gonna slide over to one side, and then come back, and then again, and again. But that's not how it works. I have to make pit stops at these little tiles. 
So I have to stop at each individual one! Shoot! Okay, well what if we start from here... ...and then go to this one, and this one, and then we just keep on trying! Okay, well, let's try this then. If I cross the here, then here, then over this side there, kabam! I hate this! <laughs> oh, these are the worst kind of puzzles for me. Because it's a lot of trial and error. But most people are like, no, no, if you try more than three times, you're just dumb. And that's a mean way to take life, all right? Not everybody has to deal with puzzles like these in everyday life. Or really ever at all in normal circumstances, oh boy. Okay, so let's figure this out. We got this covered. So if I go here, then down, then over here- Nope, I have to go... Because the only way for me to get to the extremes that are really far out are for me to be equal to them. So I have to do this, 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 this... This, 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 this. Aha! I understand! But then I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Ah, oh, crap! I was so worked up by being like, Oh, I think I understand that I forgot. Eh, 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 da, da. No. Eh, da, 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 Alright, we understand! We got this, we got this. I didn't completely forget. So we just slide on over, we got this. This is a very clever puzzle, Papyrus and Orsans. <laughs> but I understand now because I have the magic of a sky view of the area. Also a mouse. It works. Kaboom. Even if the mouse doesn't. Aw, yeah! I'm just sliding forward. I had a snow hat! What? Hey, give me a snow hat back! Yay, it actually gives you snow! Hat! <laughs> I got worried about sliding onto the switch. I was like, oh no, the prince might go out! But we're fine. Now, what's to the right? A doghouse. It's a snow path. What's going on in here? What a tiny doghouse. Wolf. Aww. Little wolf needs pet. Uh oh. <gasps> Is it the. another wolf? Oh my god! Hello! Oh my god! I've made mistakes! It's the greater dog! Ah! Oh no! Let me pet you, dog! Beckon, you call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh Jesus. It attacks with barks! Oh, it's adorable and it smells no bound! Greater dog is seeking affection. How about pet? Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Aww. Uh, then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh no. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. I had to calm it the fuck down. Play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Yes. Greater dog wants some TLC. What if I give him mercy? Nope, nope, doggy, doggy, you would need to, you need to rest. Here, I pet you. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh no, I don't want to be moving slower. Pet capacity is 40%. So I have to keep petting? All right, I will do this. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Okay. This is working. Maximum pet capacity has been reached. Greater dog is contented. And now I spare it. You won and earned 40 gold. Oh, I got out of the armor. He the dog. <laughs> Oh, and then it hops away without even having its head on. <laughs> That's cute. That is adorbs. We're gonna go back down though, just to see if there's anything I'm missing. 
There are holes for me to fall out of. That is very scary. What? Gift trot. Uh, confront you. Gift trot or gif trot? Check. Gift trot. Some te teens decorate it as a prank. Ah. Ho ho ho. Go ahead and laugh. Okay, I understand. Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles, so I need to undecorate it. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Oh no, this is a dodge one. I suck at dodging. Please don't do this to me. Oh. So I have to keep on undecorating it. Until it's nice. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. Ah, <laughs> this dodge between them. All right, undecorate again. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. A weight has been lifted. <laughs> Gift trust problems have been taken away. All right, now I can spare you. There you go. Now what the fuck is going on with those eyes inside the holes, man? That's scary. Okay. Can't fall off the edges, so that's good. What is going on here? Okay. It's a door. Ah. I understand. I have to do this in the correct order. I must press the mushrooms. In a certain way. Before the door will just randomly open up. But I don't know the order for this and I have no idea how to figure it out. Shoot. I was hoping that I kept on pressing him, and I was hoping that they just kind of make a noise if I press the right one. And so just be like, Damn it, this is gonna be like some really weird order. You know it. It's gonna be like, oh, you have to press this one, then you have to run around in a circle for five seconds, and then you gotta press uh, this one. And then after that, you go back to the right, and then you go back to the left. You know what? I don't have time for this. I I have to save the world. Check out the squeaky mushroom door later. Don't you judge me, eyes. Just because I don't know what's up with that room just yet, doesn't mean that I won't come back for it later. I know what's up. I'm gonna leave. Maybe eventually get out of this snowy underground area. It's pretty long, honestly. Maybe the entire underground is just snowy. Oh, God. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Oh, God! Not the dog! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Okay. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <laughs> Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, at least I didn't get attacked by a bunch of spikes and spears and dogs. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Uh oh. So you're saying he's going to have to actually directly fight me? Oh boy. Hey, Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town, the place with ice and more ice. Neat. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yay! Let's check out what's inside the shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Well, let's just talk. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? 
Uh, well, I'm actually just a poor, precious little child, and I'm lost from the surface. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. <laughs> Alright, well, tell me about Snowden. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the code and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Hey! We actually did meet a ghost back there! I wonder if I'll ever see that ghost again. Your light. Life is the same as usual, a little cla claustrophobic, but we know we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yeah, just to kind of have hope, not knowing what's ahead of you. Okay, what do you have for you? You have a manly bandana with abs on it. I like the sound of that. It's only 50 gold, so I kind of want to buy it. We're going to do it. Manly bandana! I probably could have just found it in the world, but whatever. Cinnamon bun. Mm. Toriel. I'll see you later. Okay. Item. Manly bandana. Use. You equip manly bandana. Alright, now I'll take less damage from everybody. That will be nice. Hello there, buddy. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there, Snowed In and Snowden. One night is 80 gold, no. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Yeah, okay. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. But that is interesting. What's my health at? It's at 100, so, or it's at max, so I'm just gonna chill. I'm fine for now. Oh, wait, box with all the things in it. Don't need you. Don't want to walk to the other side of the town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. And why do you say that? Whoa! They legitimately take you all the way to the other side. That's nice. I thought it was gonna just put me in like a tunnel. Like legitimately. And I had to walk through there with monsters. Hello there. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What? Is it because she's kind of got like a bunny pet? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee? Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Uh, you know, I know someone who likes buns. I was gonna take a little shot of that. All right. Hello, you're not a rabbit. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Well, I actually helped that guy out. Isn't that nice? It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. <gasps> they believe in Santa down here too? Santa's amazing, isn't it? Or him, yeah, I guess. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I... Yeah, I guess. You know, you're a kid. I'm a kid. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. I... I that's also a good question. But I think they're both adults. They seem experienced in the world. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. What? I'll check out this Grillby's area. That's a lot of trouble. We're gonna just back out here. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyways. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? You guys have very depressing mindsets. I'm going back into the danger zone. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Nah. 
How many of these are monsters I've actually faced? Hello. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> uh, I would give all dogs all kinds of walks and pets if I could. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys! Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. Or girl? Fun? Thing? You'll be fine. Mm, isn't even food different for monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> okay, so apparently that's a hint that monster food just doesn't spoil. The jukebox is broken. Aww. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Ugh. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city s slickers slip, uh, slip onto their butts. Yeah. Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, well, yeah, he is... fire. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. So who the hell is Undine? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna go out, make out with a fish. But you are like a fish. And there's a number waiting on your fishing line, so go for it, bro. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> okay, well, it's blocking the door in the back, so I guess we'll just leave. So we're gonna watch out for the skeletons in the fish lady. Hello. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Is it? Library. <laughs> I got you. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That sounds like high school. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? What? No, I just said that crosswords are harder because I wanted to piss off the fires. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh, you guys make that stuff. Okay, oh, jeez. Hold up. We gotta start this world history in order. It's a score report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page window yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Alright. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Okay. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Oh, she's talking about it. Because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck the, with the desire to kill... Um... What's the end of the chapter here? No, man, you gotta finish the entire thing. You can't just elite or end off with that. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city. Oh, we braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searching heat, or and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> and then this, love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Ouch. 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 That's mean. Now what the hell is going on here? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Okay. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty. So Papyrus doesn't get any mail, but Sans gets a bunch of mail? Hmm. Interesting. Oh god! Right. The tunnel. That leads me around to different places. Whoops. I'm gonna go into their house. It's locked. Well, shit. I guess we're not going anywhere. It's locked from the inside. Damn it. Well, I guess I'll just keep going right.
Nope, this place is scary. We're going back. <laughs> Suddenly, icy mist, uh, fog, rolls in, and I am just not a big fan of doing that. Not right now. I know I got a little bit of an increase to my defense, but we're going up. There's gotta be stuff here, right? Hello. Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Yeah. You aren't gonna make me the human again, are you? Let's play monsters and humans. Aw, <laughs> oh, little family. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. You son of a bitch. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah, no. You gotta answer sometime. I'm gonna knock ten times. I don't actually know how many times I've knocked so far, so we're just gonna knock five more times. One. Two. Three. Four? Five? Six. Seven. Fine. No one to talk to you anyways. Oh! That's interesting. Why do you throw ice cubes into the river? It seems redundant, but okay. 